Well, hello, YouTube watchers and rat owners. I'm Jordan from Gemini's Rat World, and today I'm going to be doing a cage tour. And I will try to link everything in the description below so you can see what I put in my cage. Now, let's go on to the video. Well, hello. So, I'm over here with voiceover mode, it's future me, and here's some shaky vo footage of me. And please subscribe if you didn't see the little tag below, and trying to get on my knees struggling to still make this video seem good. Here is ABC Foraging Blocks. I love these blocks, I got them off of Amazon. And here is a foraging wheel. I find this very great. I'm not really a pink person myself and my theme is pink is blue and green, but it still works. Here's a litter box in the back and a bendy bridge. There is a polka dot hammock and here is a large bird rope and a green rope for hamsters I'm pretty sure and the in the blurry back there is a Katie water bottle and a guinea pig foraging toy and there's a green hide with a old t-shirt stuffed in it and here is a blue basket that I got from the dollar store I find this very useful and very cheap here are three wooden sticks so they can climb on them. Here's Poe in his hammock, the double bunk bed hammock. And here is a wooden chew. Here is a large bird rope across their cage. And here is a wooden rope that I got from Petco. And here is a ladder that I did get from Amazon. I love this thing. It's one of my favorite accessories in the cage. And here is a spider web hammock and a long bendy bridge. Bendy tunnel? Bendy tunnel, not bridge. I'm sorry. And here's Onyx on his ladder, and he's sniffing the camera. Sorry, there's a rope in your face. I'm trying to get a good shot of the Spudnik, which I'm not. Surprise, surprise. And there's the Spudnik or a space pod. I call it Spudnik. And in the back, if you can see, there is another one of those wooden bendy bridges. This is very helpful, and I have a lava ledge and a wooden stick. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's past me time! I have the feisty ferret cage behind me. And there are some pros and cons to the positives first. There are not a lot and that and that kind of makes me feel bad that there are not a lot. But this is my job here. It kind of kisses the line there. And other cages might seem better, but this is the cage that I decided on. I didn't look at much of the other cages, so it's not very good. I can fit a lot of accessories in here, so it makes it fun to mix and match every day. There's three doors on this cage, which makes it very easy. Now, I'm going to move on to the cons. The cons of this cage 
There is mesh on the bottom, which is not very good. If you know, if you are experienced with rats, you will know mesh is not good for rats' feet. They will crawl around on this and it is not comfortable for them. My cage does have this and I did not see this on the photo. I did metal pans. My computer was also quite fuzzy. I had to go out and buy a tub to go on the surface of the mesh. You should not cage with mesh or wiring bottom because it can lead to bumblefoot. If you're not familiar with bumblefoot, it is with dirt on the bottom of the cage. There also standing on this is not comfortable and it could rub against your rat's foot occurring bumblefoot. Your rat's can also get their poor little ankles stuck in the wire if it's too big and they could sprain their ankle or break it because they are very delicate. I talked about this last video that the wire is, that the bar spacing is very big and it is. I didn't go in depth about the in depth about this but if you do have females or men but if you do have females or babies they could try to squeeze out I did not start out with this cage I had the a starter cage which was not very good but it did save me from them escaping and I did and with my males they are five months exact they are five months old I got them in July and they are a are big and they are pretty big to not squeeze out you can see finn here he likes to sneak to stick his little nose out And another con to this cage is that it has it does not have double doors I'm very disappointed about this because I was really excited about the double doors it it does not make things easy about grabbing the accessories and moving the accessories around I mentioned there were three doors there is a latch at the top and they did escape from this because I put shower curtain rings and there was some problems because I couldn't close the door completely. So one morning I woke up and Onyx was at the top of his cage. Good thing they didn't climb down on my floor or anything dangerous so I couldn't find them. So I did have to put something heavy and to block off the latch. But it is extremely helpful if they get on top of their cage and they don't know where to go, they can just go in and climb in whatever service I've put up by that door. Well, I'm Jordan from Gemily's Rat World. And please subscribe and comment down below. Bye!